Yo, what's up guys, Shady here, back in Forza Horizon 5 with the Celica. I can't pop the hood, unfortunately. Can I? No, I can't pop the trunk. Alright, let's just get in the car. Let's go. Sit. I... This is not the driver's seat. I forgot these things come from Japan, so they're right-hand drive. Anyway, this thing, the interior, looks actually pretty cool. I like the detail there. With like that line, you know, it looks like a, yeah, I mean, look, it looks like a 90s Japanese car. Actually, I don't think this is from the 90s. This specific model, if I'm not mistaken, it's from 2003. So it's not the same Celica you see on Underground and Underground 2. But, and I mean, if you just look at it, it does look more modern, more sporty. It looks pretty cool. And speaking of Underground, sporty and cool, this thing actually has... Quite a bit of stuff you can do, this looks a little weird, not gonna lie, but th there are a lot of pieces you can put on this car. First things first, out of all the front bumpers, I think this trial one might be my favorite. Yeah, I'll go with the trial one. Uh, rare wing. Oh, that's a lot of rare. Holy shit. I, I don't think I've ever seen a car with so many rare wings in this game. Uh, these ones are all, they're, they're pretty tame. That, bro, I remember this from Juice 2! God damn, that, that looks absolutely terrible though, but anyway, Kaminari, I do like how this looks, I like this type of wing, and then these are all like, uh, JSP Motorsport, this looks a little weird to me, I don't know, like the, the parts that are holding the wing, they're just too straight, I, it's weird, but I, I don't like those wings, trial one, pretty big, pretty big, I like it, APR, again, pretty fucking huge, but, I mean, kinda, kinda short, and the Forza wing, and then there is also the option of removing the wing, you know, for those people that do not appreciate the finer things in life. The stock one, though, is pretty sick, I do like it, but for the sake of customization, I think I'll take this one, Kaminari, Rare Bumper 3, Alright, that's pretty clean, one looks pretty street, and wings west. I don't know, maybe, yeah, maybe the Razi. Side skirts, what do we got here? The Toyota one, whatever. Kaminari, I mean, it, it looks alright. The Razi looks pretty cool, pretty street. Looks a little low, if you take the rare bumper there into consideration, but it's fine. Trial one also looks pretty good, and the wings west. Not bad, I mean, pretty aerodynamic some weird lines going on there the stock one though like it's it's the stock the car comes like this but it's so sick like, it's probably better looking than a lot of these to me it's more like between the Razi and the stock the Razi reduces drag by 1% but YOLO hood what holy fuck <laughs> that is a that's a sick looking hood uh, I guess <laughs> this one looks alright uh, they're both carbon, there's no, well I mean the stock one isn't carbon, but I know I wanted some of these stuff, but just, you know, with non-carbon options. Also because if we want to make something carbon in Forza, we can, but if we want to uncarbon something, that I don't think is a possibility. Either way, we're going with a crazy hood. Now, we need some cool new rims, sport rim style. Uh, we got some colors in it. You know what? Actually, I think I'll pick a livery first. Speaking of livery crowned, yeah, he should have the Eastsiders chat. He said he was gonna put it up when the when the car came out. Going back to the wheels. I, I'm not gonna be picking Chad's wheels, I don't even know what he was rocking back then. I think this actually fits this car quite nicely. We gotta increase this size though, hell yeah. <laughs> that, now that looks like an underground one car. Also, I just dropped some meat on the front and went for a level 1 upgrade on the back because this is a front wheel drive car. I went with slick race tire compound which is my favorite tire compound for racing and honestly I'm planning on turning this into a drift car but I just want to see how it runs first. Maxing out the brakes, spring and dampers, we're gonna go with some race springs and dampers. Damn that is low, nice. I don't want to max this thing out completely, I just want to reach top of, uh, that's S1, I, I just want to 
wanna be on top of a class. Alright, we got our Celica, this thing looks pretty sick, the sun is setting and we gotta find some races. Man, this is giving me some <laughs> underground one memories. I got left on the starting line, but I'm starting to catch up these people. Pink on the Viper! Yeah, there we go, playing dirt, you don't fuck with the Eastsiders, man! We got a little bit of city street action here, and actually, this thing... I mean, sure, it, it understeers a little bit, <laughs> it is front-wheel drive, but it doesn't handle too bad. It's actually pretty good for a front-wheel drive car. Just gotta let go of the accelerator sometimes. I just, I, I think the problem here is I just drive so much rear-wheel drive that I'm just not used to handling front-wheel drive. I, I, I think that's really the issue here. A little bit on the outside, that Peugeot is putting the pressure on me. Bro, stay back! Oh boy, that Hellcat is coming up. No! No! Man, I didn't have to deal with your kind in underground. But! The Celica? Not bad. Not a bad car. Spin the wheel. I love these wheel spins, man. They, <laughs> they, they, Forza should just add a casino. Bro, what the... Man, I, I mean... Sure, I'm getting money, but that's like one of the worst rewards you can get out of this thing. Either way, this car looks fucking sick. I love that front end. And I love the customization they added to it as well, like, it's not, it's not every day you see, like, cars in Forza with that much customization. Anyway, let's turn this into a drift car. First things first, we're gonna have the drivetrain swap this, which we can. Just out of curiosity, what engines do we have around here? Another two, bro, can every single car be 2JZ swapped in this game? I mean, I'm not complaining, and I'm throwing a turbo on this thing. And now I will max out this engine. Tire compound, give me some of that slidey stuff. And I think that's a, no, no, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, because... I, I switched to rear wheel drive, so now we need the beef on the back. Also, can this go even lower? Yes, it can. And it's glorious. Is that some slight camber on the front tires? Hold up. Let me just race. Dr yep, yes it is. I also went with a weight reduction stage 3. And apparently our car is, is still a 800. Which, it's like I've done nothing to it. But can it drift now? And before I answer that question, we're gonna look for another livery. I do like the underground livery, but I wanna see what's up. Who oh, we got some juicy stuff here. Damn, that is fucking nice. Let me check. Is this an anime livery? Yes, it is. But it looks fucking sick. Like, the color combination, the wheels... Bro, this is an amazing livery, man. God damn, congratulations. But there's actually a lot of cool stuff for this car. Let me check this yellow one. I didn't realize it at first, but there is also an anime livery. That is Demon Slayer. But again, this looks pretty fucking sick. This car has some amazing liveries. And then you have some simpler stuff, but great looking nonetheless. Also, the line underneath and the line around the number matches the calipers. Very nice detail. Yet, I think I'll go with the first one. I don't know, man. I feel like this one just speaks the most drift to me. Let's also switch this to manual and go hunt for some drift. So, actually, before we go hunting, let me just... Where is the... That, like, mountain? Is it... Uh, where is the mountain drift? So, is it this one? Precipice. Yeah, it, it's this one. I, I really like this drift zone. And it's like right beside us let's go man this thing looks so fucking sick uh oh shit i, I forgot i had to shift <laughs> right that's why i put the car in manual of course so let me just start throwing this thing beautiful all right now we're throwing this thing in in fourth gear can nope fourth gear is a little a little too high all right third gear in Switch back to fourth. I feel like this thing is just gripping a little too much. Like there's these tires just have too much grip. Let me try to get some. Yeah, I, I definitely feel like this is just there's a lot of grip in this car. Like look, god damn. Let's just pump up the tire pressure before we do anything else. And then if this doesn't work, I might just unbeef the tires a little. Let's try this the other way around. Get it? Switch the fourth. Alright, alright, that was a little bit more responsive. A little bit, I liked it. 
I like the way that it's it's still ripped up. If we're going down the hill, this kinda one no, it doesn't it doesn't work. Let's go back home. I don't know who the fuck thought <laughs> drifting at Toyota Celica was a good idea, but <laughs> anyway, uh, I I'll just I'll try to make these tires you know just go to normal and on the rare tire with yeah we don't need all that. Ooh, let's Choices, choices. Fuck it, let's just go with the first one. Differential. Let, wait a minute, I can? Wait a minute, I didn't install race different. Man. Oh, that's right, I drive train swapped it. So these things went back to stock. Because it's the new drive train. Race different. No, wait, 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 wait. It's drift differential. Now we're going places. Ooh, third gear's ripping it now. Let's go. Let's get in here. May switch to fourth. Ooh, bro, look at this Celica. That's actually kind of nice. I still, I still feel like it grips a little. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Maybe my tuning just sucks, which probably does. But I still feel like this is gripping a lot, and it just stopped. I mean, sure, maybe you don't want to turn a Celica into a drift car, all right? <laughs> but. It, it's gonna drift now, like, I don't care, it's, th this thing's gonna drift. Let's shorten this final drive as well. Or actually, or do I wanna increase... Uh, honestly, I'm not too sure. I'm gonna leave it at 355. I also slightly cambered the rear, alright? That was a decent entry, because we had some speed on it. But, transition... Can we keep the... Uh, the, the things, I just feel like this thing starts losing momentum. And then it's just, it's really hard to get this sideways, like, I just want to get some wheel spin. But it doesn't fucking want a wheel spin. Unless I shift down, obviously, but then I can't get, like, these big-ass corners. Still, still, this would be three stars, just so you know. This version requires only 70k for gold medal, so that, that was, like, about 30 points extra. But if I were to do some stupid shit like this... <laughs> like drifting the entire volcano, then I think I'm gonna have some trouble. But I'm still gonna try it. With a fucking Celica. But you know, that's besides the point. I mean, there's some snow up here, so maybe that's actually gonna help the sliding. I don't know, or maybe I'm just gonna beat like, the fucking world record in a Celica, who knows? Oh, that's a rock! Alright. Manji this thing a little bit. Like, I'm starting to wonder if this is just too much grip or a lack of power because this car is a class like with the drift tire with drift everything which usually brings down the class a little bit because you know it's slidey stuff and i think the performance level is more biased towards racing you know like the car being fast being maneuverable and drifting is kind of the opposite of it but you just kind of deal with it <laughs> and so I don't know maybe I'll try engine swapping I don't I, I didn't want to do that but I might have to actually this thing is handling pretty nice now but also this is a big continuous downhill that that might be it this is actually doing better in this drift zone than I anticipated which is weird but yeah it just might be because of the downhills this is, it, it's, I mean, it's Japanese, it, it likes the downhills, it, it's a toge car. I guess, I guess that's, that's what it is, this is a toge car. I mean, when this thing behaves itself, it can get quite a bit of angle, but this thing doesn't like behaving itself, that's, that's kind of the issue here. That's the main, oh, just took out some, yep, this is a bad boy, 850. Is that a personal best? No, I don't think it is pretty good though and again it would be three stars so you know can this thing drift i mean you know it's not the best thing in the world but yeah like it's got the makings of a good drift car by which i mean it's japanese but i just i really feel like it lacks some power but you know what doesn't like power Do it. <laughs> Alright, so I 2JZ swapped this thing, put maximum rubber on the back, first upgrade on the front when it comes to width, and I also went with 
sport tires and look at that this thing is pretty controllable and <laughs> it's not lacking any wheel spin not with that 2JZ inside it that thing is a freaking demon 79k 89 90 yep I should I actually I think I could have probably have done that in fourth gear 115k not bad at all let me try this going the other way but this time in fourth which I, I probably should have been in when I was going down but I think this fourth gear is where you want to be for this car this, this thing is actually pretty sick for drifting it's slow but it's like it's a slow and controlled drift you know because again I still feel like it lacks power but at least now it's not lacking wheel spin so there you go that's a drift Celica now does that mean that this is a good idea <laughs> no th this is not the best car but it actually feels pretty like I said it f it does it's like a slow controlled drift it, it actually it feels kind of nice if anybody wants to see the tuning there you go just pause the video but I'm not taking any responsibility if your car just bursts into flames either way guys I hope you liked it, it is shade peace